Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can get input from command line. So let's first of all understand what does it mean to getting input from command line. After that, we will go through with the points of this video and examples and all. All right. So here you can see that we have index.js file and inside it we have a console.log. So how I can run it? Just simply put here node and after that I can just simply put here index.js and whenever I will just run it you can see that the uh, console.log is just printing something. So let's say uh, I just want to run this command with some extra input. So let's say I just want to put here hello and after that data or something and I want to get this data in our program. So how I can do it? So for now let's say I am just uh, trying to run it what actually happen it will just simply print the data which is just it is uh, printing the previously so there is a no impact of these two inputs for a moment but how we can get it question is that so in this video we will learn how we can get and set input uh, inputs from the command line after that i will tell you uh, how we can create a file with the help of input and how we can delete the file with the help of interview with the in, uh, input and at the last we will uh, just learn some interview questions also so let's start all right so as you can see that we have uh, two parameters and we want to get it here so what we can do here how we can get it so we have a big object in our node.js which is process it have almost everything uh, of the node.js so if you just want to print it you will find that there is a lot of data inside it so we should not print it uh, even but that's okay i just want to show you after that it have a property with the name of arg v arg v that simply means argument vector and now if i am just let me clear this console and running it now without these uh, two uh, inputs you will find that there is a uh, two elements in a array one is the path of uh, uh, node.js exe file executable file second one is our path over current file right so let's say if i are just putting some input inside it then it will just give a third element also and that will be our the element which are we just passing with the input here you can see that a third one is the element which are we just pass as a input in a command line right so if you want to just get the fourth one this is also simple now you can see that we have a third and fourth two one great so how we can just get them uh, uh, especially third and fourth uh, uh, element so just simply put here two and now if i'm putting here two some guys maybe understand that it will print this value second one actually note it will print third value why because array always start from the zero so when we just print here zero it will just uh, give the output of that one uh, on a first that one and on the second it will print the hello we can check it here you can here we can see that it will just print the hello great so now let's say we want to create uh, some files with the help of these input commands and after that i will tell you how we can delete them also but first of all what we need here let's take a conch with the name of fs fs simply means file system whenever we will we want to create file or delete file and modify the files and all that time we need this file system so let's require it fs and after that let's simply put here fs dot uh, write file sync and here you can simply put here our file name so let's say i am putting here hello dot txt and some text this is a dummy file this is so simple so if i'm just running it again you can see that file is created and it have text also but i don't want to just put this text uh, file name and text statically it should be dynamically and it should be come from our input file then how we can just do it so let's take a const input and it will be uh, process dot arc v now what you can do here you can just put here second name 
you can say that the third one element element on the second position is with the name of output file like this and the text will be the last argument let's say third one and now if i'm just putting here hello dot txt and in last one i'm just putting here hi this is a dummy file and whenever i'm running it you can see that it create again a file uh, it actually override the file and if we just remove it we can create it from scratch also like this here you can see that the a new file is created with the same text that's great so that's a simple process so i want that with the argument i want to delete and add the file from uh, the command line so how what i can do here i can simply put here if input that means the second one input equal to add then this command will run like this now what i can do here from it so let's say uh, else if we have input second input uh, equal to remove then our file should be removed so, so what is the command for remove the file so that is fs dot unlink sync right and we don't need two parameter for it we just need the name of this file and we will get the name of uh, this file on third one and the file name will be third one and the text will be the fourth one and let's say else if uh, the second element of input is not remove or either not add then what we can do here we can simply just make a console dot log like a invalid input right let me clear this old text remove this text.html file and what i'm just going to do i'm going to just again run this node index.js add we want to add a file and file name is let's say um, apple dot txt and the text will be like uh, this is a fruit and whenever we are just hitting it here you can see that a new file is created we can create some more file also let's say create a red so you can say that this is a color and again we have another file so now if you want to remove file then just simply put here index dot js remove and file name let's say apple dot txt and whenever i'm hitting it you can see that apple is removed from here and same if you want to remove the red dot txt you can just simply red it, remove it like this and let's say you are not putting here uh, add or remove let's say you are just putting here other then it will give a invalid input so with that way we can create a file we can remove the file just simply a uh, the extra parameter from command line Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.